like you're always at Disney or you're at Universal or what's... I really like theme parks. <laughs> I really do. I like rides. I like thrill rides. We all need a little, like, shaking, shaking the dust off. It's a guessing game you can give it. What's up, guys? Nikki Novak here in the Young Hollywood studio with the star of Weeds, Hunter Parrish. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How's it going? It's going awesome. It's so great to be here. I love this place. So, final season. It's the final season. Are you guys, so what is it like? So you're on set now. Is it Has it changed the atmosphere? Are you all, like, all nostalgic? Um, I feel like every single year on our show, we kind of pretend like it's our last season because we never actually know what's, you know, if they're going to let us do another one. But then every single year, we already always have. So we've said bye for like the last five <laughs> years. So we're over it now. We're like, like, finally. Talk. Yeah, talk. yeah like, it actually means something. <laughs> we have had the same crew for the entire yeah. eight years we've been on. Yeah, you become a family, not only as a cast, but as a, as a group of people just making a cool story together. And knowing that it's Enjoy. the last season, the writers know that so that they can write yeah. a nice ending to the story. I think that was our biggest fear was yeah. that we would get canceled or something and and after we'd already filmed the season like and we would never get the chance to actually say hey, like here's the end i just think yeah our show and our fans deserve um for there to be an ending for us too as characters because we for me have like lived this my whole like teenage yeah you started early so young with the show and you've been throughout yeah. my mother will not let me be my own person why do you need her permission for that because she no, I don't. I don't need her permission. So um, I know you're the music thing too. Your single was just right. released on iTunes. That's right, yeah. Sitting at home? Sitting at home. It's like we're drinking in Paris. And you've been playing a couple gigs, I know. And, and I've been playing a couple gigs locally And in you had LA. the Broadway thing going until April, Gosh, wasn't what's, it? Gosh, so you're much happening. You're just so busy, <laughs> I know. So yeah. tell me the difference between, okay, you're doing like Godspell, you're doing, you're on Broadway versus mm. playing like a gig. Yeah, um, when you sing on Broadway, you're hiding behind a character and you're telling the story of that character. But when I get to do my own gigs, I get to tell my story or the things that I find interesting about life or love or whatever. And it's a way of self-expression that I haven't really had before. Yeah. And I, um, I'm at the point in my life where I just need a little bit more of that. Any crazy gig things that happened? Um, I'm sure a lot of your fans come out and... Fans come. I mean, last week I, I played a gig here and uh, some girls that knew me from New York and we actually happened to be here we're at Disneyland and they got my tweet that I was doing a show and they like rushed out. I thought that was pretty cool. Very sweet of them. But yeah, That's no, the I mean, danger of Twitter. It and actually is. speaking of which People we have know. we have uh -oh. Twitter, Twitter questions. Posts? Questions oh, from your fans. Oh, oh, cool. oh we'll yeah, get saw, to those too. I saw you guys tweet about this. Yes. I meant to retweet you. So from D Steezy says, ask Hunter if he has any plans to return to Broadway in another show or if he has any upcoming tour plans with his I hate Broadway, I'm never going back. <laughs> I, yeah, I can't wait to get back. I want to do a play, which I haven't done on Broadway, so let me. You write? I do write, but I don't even mean mine. I just mean like someone's new play, yeah. you know, someone else's new play. Oh, I was, do, I was like, I a whole thing planned for Yeah, it. I was like, well, write your we own could thing. write it together <laughs> and it. We'll, we'll put it on. Then that's a good answer to the question. There you go. And Mary Clavering wants to know, what is the song Sitting at Home about? I think there are, t there are moments of love that are really exciting and adventurous, and you go out and you do things and you feel like, oh, I need, you know, I love, going this place with you and this place with you. And that makes a relationship exciting and new and, and fresh. But I have always really enjoyed the moments when I don't do anything with my girlfriend and we're just hanging out watching a movie at the house. There are a couple lyrics and songs that stuck out to me um, with that sort of sentiment of like, yeah, we're, we're doing absolutely nothing right now and it's exactly what I want, you know, it's perfect. And this song um, sort of has that, has that that feel to it and, is, and that's what it's about. It's just relaxing at home, not having to like do anything special to okay. enjoy yourself. Well, this is the opposite of your Twitter, you know, your like profile thing. Because oh. it says if I get too mellow, okay, okay. I ripen then rot. Okay, so, all right, let me explain. <laughs> just because you're sitting at home doesn't mean you're like, you know, you're sleeping the day away. You're like having all sorts of adventures. They're just not um, anywhere but in your house. Okay, and last but not least, I'm addressing one of your tweets. You tweeted a picture of you on a roller coaster. Perk of working at Universal riding. Oh, yeah. Universal is riding the rides during lunch. Yes. So it seems like you're always at Disney or you're at Universal or what's. I really like theme parks. <laughs> I really do. I like rides. I like thrill rides. We all need a little like shaking, shaking the dust off we a little bit. Do so, I, so that's what that's what I go to theme parks for. Well, thank you for coming and shaking the dust off our couch. Absolutely. Great having you here, Mr. Energetic himself. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for having me. I love you guys.